Hey sweet friends, today's video is pantry organization. I'm going to deep clean, restock, and reorganize our cabinet pantry. It's been a while since I wiped down all of the shelf in here, so I'm going to tackle them in this video. I'm also going to wash the acrylic containers I have in here, hence deep clean, because they accumulated too much fingerprints on them, which I'll show you in a little bit. I hope you enjoy this video and find it motivating and helpful. Let's do this! So every time I tackle projects like this, I like to start with a clean slate. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking everything out and I'm going to be wiping down the shelf. And then there are some empty containers. I'm going to just be washing those, washing the acrylic container like I told you in the beginning because there's a lot of fingerprints on them. It's from me, my son, my husband, everyone in the family really. I don't really do that when I restock the pantry with our monthly grocery hauls because it takes a long time. So I try to tackle that when I deep clean which is today. If I see anything really bad when I'm restocking then I would wipe it down but nothing major. I, I don't really like pay that much attention. I'm also going to be checking expiration dates. I only found a few which is awesome because I hate wasting food you guys. This is what the shelf looks like before I wipe them down. Some of them isn't really dirty at all but some on the bottom they're starting to get worse so I'm glad that I'm doing this today. Please let me know in the comments down below how often do you deep clean your pantry. I know this is not an actual pantry. We don't have a real walk-in pantry but this is what we have. It's cabinet pantry and we're making it work. I am now checking expired foods and like I said, I didn't really found a lot. I found like two bottles of sprinkles, some chips and nothing really major or how do you say that? Like nothing really like expensive food. So that's good like I said. And then I found like two cookies in um, the cookie container and... I asked my son if he wants to eat it. He said no. It seems like nobody wants to eat it anymore. And I think it might be a little old to mix with the new one. It's like a couple weeks old. I do have expiration dates on the bottom of the container. But I didn't want to mix it with the new one. So I just got rid of it. It's only two pieces. And then I ended up washing the container. So I can reuse it and put the new ones in the container. I also washed the rest of the empty containers. And... I'm going to dry them after and then start with the restocking. Here's the fingerprints on the acrylic container. As you see, it's starting to get really bad. I usually wipe this down when I restock the pantry, but I don't know. Some of them, I don't know if I didn't see it or what, but it's getting really bad. So I'm just going to wash them all. If this is your first time here in my channel and you have no idea who am I, my name is Sel, I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one. Here in my channel, I make lots of realistic cleaning motivations, satisfying home organization, monthly grocery hauls, and seasonal home decorating. So if you like those contents, I would really love to have you here and join my YouTube family. I upload new video every single week. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back my friend, you know I appreciate you. And if you are new here, please don't forget to introduce yourself in the comments down below. I would love to get to know you.
these are the containers that we have in our pantry i just washed them and dried them we have this container for a while now and i got them from walmart if you're interested to know i also link something similar from amazon in my description box below if you want to check it out it's going to be under my favorite home organization link i created a list of all the organization items that i love so if you're interested to check it it will be in my description box below
every time I restock our food, I always make sure that the new food goes on the bottom and the old one goes on top if there's anything older than the new one. And then I write the expiration date on the bottom of the containers. Usually I do that for those one that doesn't have individual packaging. I write the expiration date on the bottom of the container like I said and use chalk marker to do it so that I can easily erase it or change it if I put new food in the container. If you're in the market for some acrylic containers or canister for your pantry, I suggest checking out Walmart, Target, or Amazon. This is not sponsored. I just get all my stuff there. I used to go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods, but a couple times I got containers from them that has a lot of scratches and there's really not much option for sizes or um, like let's say if you need more than just one or two they don't really have them in stock like the store has plus i feel like the prices is very similar anyway and the ones in the store looks brand new while the ones in pj max and home goods looks a little used to me and have some scratches i don't know i got some containers from them in the past and a lot of times they have like even if it's just a little scratch or I don't know I, I stopped going there because like I said their prices are starting to go up and I just feel like it's not really a good deal for me anymore if I want something like cheaper then I would rather go to Ross than go to TJ Maxx unless it's like home decor <laughs> Okay, so I started putting this instant mashed potato in this container, but I realized it wasn't big enough for the two boxes. So I ended up switching this container for the oatmeal because the oatmeal isn't a lot and it has bigger container. So you'll see me put this in the metal bowl later. That's what I'm doing here. I don't use instant mashed potato all the time. I actually prefer the fresh one, but... There are times that I'm really busy and don't have time to make the fresh one, so we use the instant.
and this is what the pantry looks like after I'm done it feels so good to get this done it looks clean and fully restocked I love it so much we're going to move on to the snack drawer and then the canned good cabinet For this cabinet, I didn't take out all of it because it was a lot of canned goods and I didn't really have a lot of space here on the counter. I didn't want to have to put it on the island because then I had to move it back here on the counter. So I did this one shot at a time.
I'm also going to be restocking under the sink. I know this is non food item, but I wanted to share this with you as well. I restock the gloves. I use this all the time to clean anything like kind of nasty or gross and I don't like to touch. Also, I use this sometimes for food like chicken or um, beef. I don't like the smell of those on my hand that I feel like they stay even after I wash it. So. I use the gloves for that. I also use this baking soda to clean the sink or whatever else um, I need to clean like for the carpet when I make freshener. I use this and mix it with some essential oil and I'm just restocking them now. I got this big bag from Sam's Club and I keep them in her laundry closet because I use this for clothes as well. After all that work I'm going to clean up the island wipe it so that I can move on with the fridge which is going to be in my next video you guys so stay tuned for that if you find this video motivating and helpful I would appreciate a big thumbs up it does help support my channel and lets me know you want more videos like this comment down below and share this to a friend if you enjoyed it thank you for watching my friend I'm so happy to get to spend time with you today and I will talk to you all again on my next video Bye.